So Donald Trump issued an order to all federal agencies banning diversity training. Can banning diversity itself be far behind? Let's talk about that. Because diversity, like justice, matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So in recent days, Donald Trump issued a cease and desist letter, literally, expressly, a cease and desist letter, directing that all federal government agencies must immediately stop giving diversity training or racial sensitivity training to federal government employees. Let's look at some of the headlines that erupted both here and around the world when Donald Trump prohibited, outlawed, banned diversity training in the federal government. This from the Washington Post. White House directs federal agencies to cancel race-related training sessions it calls un-American propaganda. This from the BBC. Trump bans anti-American diversity training. This from Al Jazeera. Trump orders crackdown on federal anti-racism training. And this from Forbes. Trump bans diversity training, claiming it's divisive anti-American propaganda. So let's take a look at Donald Trump's cease and desist letter prohibiting diversity training in the federal government. And it was actually issued by the director of OMB, the Office of Management and Budget. It's a guy named Russell Vogt. It's spelled V-O-U-G-H-T, pronounced Vogt. And let's do a quick round of know your federal government official. Know your Trump crony. Who is Russell Vogt? Hold on tight, folks. So Russell Vogt, has been the director of OMB for all of about five weeks now. Before that, he was the deputy director for a relatively short period of time, but he came from the private sector, and here's what he did before joining the federal government. He was the vice president of an organization called the Heritage Action for America organization, which was billed as a powerhouse in a new generation of conservative groups and perhaps the most influential lobby group among congressional Republicans. But here's what I find appalling regarding Russell Vogt. When Russell Vogt was nominated to be deputy director of OMB before he more recently became director, he was nominated by Donald Trump, he went through a confirmation hearing, and he was questioned by Senator Bernie Sanders. Senator Sanders questioned Russell, Russell Vogt about some anti-Muslim statements he had made. Specifically, this is what Russell Vogt said, quote, Muslims do not simply have a deficient theology. They do not know God because they have rejected Jesus Christ, his son, and they stand condemned. So Russell Vogt condemned about 1.8 billion of our Muslim brothers and sisters because they don't worship the way Russell Vogt worships. That's your director of OMB, the condemner of 1.8 billion Muslims. Is it any surprise that Russell Vogt then issued this cease and desist order, putting an end to diversity training? to racial sensitivity training. You know, no hero of diversity and inclusivity, he. Here's an interesting footnote, folks. After the confirmation hearing, they took a vote on Russell vote. And the vote was a tie, 49-49. So guess who had to come in and break the tie? Yes, that hero of diversity and, and, and inclusivity himself, Mike Pence broke the tie. You know, Mike Pence, the one who was all about conversion therapy, because if people don't love the the person or the way 
Mike Pence believes they should love. They need to be converted in Mike Pence's view. So apparently Mike Pence really liked the cut of Russell Vogt's jib. You know, Russell Vogt, the condemner of the Muslim population. How did we get here, folks? How did we get here? So here is the cease and desist letter issued by President Trump, but through Russell Vogt, September 4th, a few days ago, signed by Russell Vogt, condemner of the Muslim population. Yes, I can't get past that. I'm going to read just part of this cease and desist letter. It has come to the president's attention that executive branch agencies have spent millions of taxpayer dollars to date training government workers to believe divisive, anti-American propaganda. For example, according to press reports, now why are they basing this according to press reports rather than according to the actual training federal government employees receive? Put a pin in that. According to press reports, employees across the executive branch have been required to attend trainings where they are told that, quote, virtually all white people contribute to racism, close quote, or where they are required to say that they, quote, benefit from racism, close quote. According to press reports, in some cases, these trainings have further claimed that there is racism embedded in the belief that America is the land of opportunity or the belief that the most qualified person should receive a job. I'm going to skip down a little bit. The president has directed me to ensure that federal agencies cease and desist from using taxpayer dollars to fund these divisive, un-American propaganda training sessions. All agencies should begin to identify all available avenues within the law to cancel any such contracts and or divert federal dollars away from these un-American propaganda training sessions. So apparently Donald Trump watched some news reports. I wonder what channel he was watching. And he you know, in knee-jerk fashion, said, oh, we've got to cancel all diversity and racial sensitivity trainings because these news reports say that they're just, you know, divisive, un-American propaganda. It would have been nice if Donald Trump had actually reviewed the training that federal government employees received because I can tell you I took that training every year for more than 30 years. You know, I took annual training on so many topics, I can't even remember them all, but federal employees receive annual training on ethics and professional responsibility. We receive annual training on cybersecurity. We receive annual training on sexual harassment. We receive annual training, yes, on diversity and racial sensitivity and implicit bias. And can I tell you, folks, if you've never seen some good implicit bias training, I urge you to watch it because it's eye-opening. It's really valuable. I learned a heck of a lot from it. So you know what I never took? Not once in my 30 plus years as a Fed. I never took divisive anti-American propaganda training. This letter issued by Russell Vogt, condemner of the Muslim population, this is nothing more than Donald Trump telling his base, I got you, I got you, vote for me again, vote for me once, vote for me twice in the same election, and I got you. I'm going to keep doing my unlevel best to make America white again. That's what Donald Trump is saying. Donald Trump gives his base the hate and the prejudice and the divisiveness and the xenophobia that unfortunately some people need to fill that hole in them. 
Donald Trump tries to give people some, something or someone to look down on, trying to convince his base that you're better than them and you're better than them. You know, canceling diversity training, folks, is one giant step on the road to canceling diversity. And that's where Donald Trump is trying to take our country. And this is garbage. It's garbage designed to play to his base. You know, his base won't walk away from him. No doubt about that. But he loses support. People peel off every day because of the hateful, xenophobic, racist that Donald Trump is. But Donald Trump will be defeated. He'll be defeated on November 3rd, but even more importantly, he's going to be defeated every day between now and November 3rd. And what I would urge you all to do, I did it myself recently, is check your local state voting rules and procedures. Because for example, here in Virginia, we get to begin voting at the polls or there's a place we can go and cast our ballot six weeks before November 3rd. I think it's sometime in mid to late September. We can begin voting, not by mail, but in person. Please check your state rules and procedures for voting and get out there and vote. And Donald Trump will get crushed in a righteous landslide every day between now and November 3rd. And then January 20, 20th, 2021 will be, will be the most glorious sunrise imaginable. I don't care if it's 20 degrees and cloudy. It will be the most glorious sunrise imaginable. We'll all get up and we'll be able to breathe free again. And then accountability. Thank you, folks. As always, please stay safe. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.